So today I'm going to show you all how to make these super realistic and realistic tasting salted duck eggs. And you all are going to ask, well, when, when would I use something like this? And there are plenty of Asian recipes, Asian pastry recipes that use salted duck eggs that we will be exploring shortly, such as the uh, mooncakes for autumn festival uh, coming up. So I hope you all enjoy this one. So first up are the shelled mung beans and it's really the basis of duck eggs because the slight grittiness from the beans really matches the flavor and the texture of actual salted duck eggs. So we're actually going to just cook it with some carrot juice, which is a little bit of a deviation from your typical recipe, but you don't taste the carrots that much at all. And it adds that really nice bright vivid orange color that we associate with duck eggs. So next we're gonna just prepare more of the liquid mixture and I'm, I'm cutting up just another medium carrot. It happened to be a really big carrot um, and I'm just going to blend it with either a little bit of soy milk or if you want to make it extra rich, uh, a little bit of coconut milk. So I call for a sugar-free custard powder like birds, but if you don't have that available, feel free to just substitute um, cornstarch and then maybe a little bit of turmeric uh, for color. And I'm just mixing everything together until there are no lumps. So I put in the mung beans as well as my ingredients. And the last ingredient is sort of a make it or break it type of thing. Um, the original, I think it was like a Buddhist association recipe, uh, called for like a cheddar cheese and it was a vegetarian recipe. So it didn't call for a vegan one. Um, the Vio Life I got, I got for free uh, somewhere, but you have to be okay with the flavor of the, of the vegan cheddar cheese. It, it needs to have some kind of funk to it, but I personally don't love the flavor of vegan cheese in general. So I'm going to link to all of the vegan cheese recipes that I have done that I like the flavor of. Um, but you know, in a pinch, if you don't have it, feel free to reach for your, you know, nearest kind of vegan cheddar cheese. And that funk and a little bit of that like sodium really contributes to uh, this duck egg. Okay, so we're gonna bring it to a boil first. And as you cook it, the mung beans are going to get softer and you want it to get to this point where it's like choux pastry dough, where it just, it, it gets to, to be like a dough. It doesn't really stick to the side. So we brought it to a boil. We turned down the heat and then just get it into this stage. So it takes about 10 to 12 minutes, I would say. So you can see we didn't make too much, but this amount can make probably 10 to 12 um, egg yolks. So that's enough for us. You can 
see this has cooled down a bit so it's hardened a bit but now we're just gonna form it into egg yolks So if you see to the side, I have just a couple spoonfuls of plain vegetable oil. And usually with recipes, you'll see the, that they add the vegetable oil into the original mix. And I sort of think that that creates things that are like, it's unnecessarily greasy. I'd rather just use it a little bit at the end so that it's not too sticky on my hands. And then it creates this really nice shininess to the duck egg yolks, which is kind of its signature as well, because usually what you'll do with normal salted duck eggs is you'll place it into the oven and then all of the oils come out and that's just basically how it looks. So to preserve them, I'm just going to brush it with a little bit more oil and you can feel free to freeze these. They freeze just fine. Um, they last in the refrigerator for a bit. Can't really tell you exactly how long, um, but there they are, like the carrot juice did its work. Uh, it's nice and, and bright, but it, it doesn't taste like carrot. Um, and, and the salt and the cheese that we added in makes it actually like salty. It's not, it's not sweet, it's like, it's, it is reminiscent, very reminiscent uh, of a salted dug egg, which I was very surprised about. So I hope you all enjoyed that. I will be having some mooncake recipes to come. So definitely stay tuned.